Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my detoxifying workout and what that's going to consist of is completing different exercises and then right afterwards we're going to be stretching out the muscles that we were working on. So what you're going to need for this workout is two dumbbells. I like to use 10 to 15 pounds, but if you're just starting out, you can definitely go lighter. And then for the optimal results with this workout, you're going to want to complete three sets of 12 to 15 reps of each of the exercises. Feel free to comment below as to what you'd like to see in my next video. Thanks! So we're going to be starting this workout out with some high knees just to get the movement going in our body. I like to do this for about 15 to 30 seconds before each workout and I also like to add it in between my sets for a little bit of cardio. Doing the high knees increases your endurance and it can also strengthen your quads. And we're going to begin the workout with an ab portion and this is just a side plank so what this does is strengthen the abdominal as well as the back muscles and I just like to add in a few leg raises at the end of my side plank just to really activate those core muscles. And this is just a traditional plank. So this is one of the best workouts to strengthen your core, but it also works your glutes, hamstrings, improves posture and balance. And when you're doing a plank, you just wanna make sure that your butt is close to the ground and that your elbows are directly down from your chest. That way you're definitely activating those core muscles. And next we're going to be moving into the stretching portion of the video. This definitely is very detoxifying to get your body going and then stretch those areas out. It kind of just gets a little bit of movement into your whole body. And what that does is it stretches the hips, thighs, ankles, as well as the back. And next we're just getting a little bit of leg work into the workout. So this is bobbing lunges and this definitely targets the quads as well as the glutes, pretty much your whole leg. And I really like to add in bobbing motions into my workouts because I really feel like it just activates those muscles that I'm working on. And now moving into the second set of stretches. This is a lotus and it's one of my favorite glute stretches. So you just want to reach out in front of you as far as you can and the further you can reach is the deeper that the stretch will be. This also helps to develop good flexibility as well as posture. And then moving right into the pigeon pose which is another deep glute stretch. So you just want to make sure that you are breathing when you're doing the exercises as well as the stretches. That way you're getting oxygen to all of your muscles. And lastly, we're moving into the arm portion of the workout. So this is dumbbell hammer curls. And what this does is it targets your biceps. I really love this arm workout. And I like to do each arm isolated. And then I pull my arms up together. So for each, I do 12 to 15 reps. Isolated 12 to 15 and then together for 12 to 15.
and you really just want to make sure that you are pulling up through your biceps and when you're doing the arm exercises you can definitely tighten your core the whole way through and this exercise the dumbbell tricep extension mainly targets the triceps but it also targets the lats as well as the forearms so just remember to keep the core tight and really be pulling up through the triceps And then we're just finishing out this workout with a few more stretches just to really, you know, get that detox into our body. So there is a couple options that you can do for the Lotus. You can reach out and really get that glute stretch, but you can also just sit up nice and straight and take some deep breaths. The key is just to have your foot folded over onto the opposite shin. And then once again, moving into the pigeon pose, another alternative for this is that you can reach back and pull your foot closer to your body to get a deeper stretch if you're feeling more advanced. And just really keep that breath going if you want maximum detoxification for this workout. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you my detoxifying workout and what that's gonna consist of is just, why is it zooming in?